Hi guys, my name is EVJ and welcome back to Some Gone Home. Um, I have no idea how long we've got left in this game, but... These episodes have been quite long, so maybe not that much. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay, we are back in. Oh, the lights are already on, okay. I'm doing twenty dollars in the salon. <laughs> I only spent twenty quid to get my hair done. Okay, so mom's got has an offer for a promotion. What the hell is this? Something about Spain. <coughs> hey Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She hardly she's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And then when she is home, she takes it out on you. Like, because you're not a member of the family, she knows you won't call her on it, and I'm sorry. Uh -huh, it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our core and freewheeling lifestyles. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. So I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her hu new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. Say so you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida. No. Some strong feelings about Lonnie's mom. Wind and fire. I don't like how dark it is. Sam, this score was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three books. American. I love it. Merry Christmas. Miss you. Love Lonnie. P.S. Treasure it always. So the score in the foyer is Sam's. Okay. Suitcase. A dining room. A first street pamphlet or manual. I don't know. Oh god no. No. <laughs> it's no. Uh, does it doesn't. It's a nice purse. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for Earthwind Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again, so that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More fun than clearing bush in the freezing rain, right? Rich. Okay.
Sam, since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You're grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand what you're going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behaviour at school. And clearly one of your privileges are... And clearly once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't have to happen again. So maybe they knew about Lonnie and Sam. Distributing inappropriate material the school grounds. Okay. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad or disappointed or start crying or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Hi, Mum, Dad and Sam. This, the Vatican is weird, as you can see. The Catholic Church stars a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gone to see all of the art, <coughs> including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Mum, we'll have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam. They have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people, so you should probably come too. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't get gored by a ball, probably. <laughs> Love, Katie. Oh, very weird family. <laughs> Just like to point that out. <laughs> The reason why these cupboard doors are solid. Call button. The gets. Okay. Well, oh, someone left a lamp on. I can't. For some reason, I can't walk in games anymore. I cannot read that, so. Can I uh, pause it if you want to read it? Anything, anything... No. That was so weird. Stop making weird sounds. <laughs> don't like it. Random knife on the floor, can I take this? No. Why is it so dark? Kitchen! Oh. 
I'm not gonna play this because last time I got clams and it's not long. <laughs> So there's nothing else in there. Oh, it's a pack of cards. And nothing in there. Oh, it's just me turning around. Um, why do I get so close to everything? Could have left some pizza. <clears throat> Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny and they were on an adventure. But they went to the part something part of the woods and it got dark. Daniel said Are you scared? So Samantha said no. Are you? They laughed and went more into the bad part. Then they went to a part that was never there before and there was a ship. A pirate ship. On an ocean. Samantha said I'll be the captain and you be the first mate. Daniel said, aye aye captain. They went on the pirate ship and started sailing away. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong. And I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. No. Kate comes home this month. We'll call with exact date. I don't. When was I supposed to come back? I don't know. I don't know what date it is. I think they're on their anniversary trip, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. <coughs> so, their mum got the promotion. And yep, sounds about right. Freak is this? Oh, a mom cup. <laughs> uh... Thank you. Ooh, cola. <laughs> Ooh, ice cream. Cookie caramel. I'm just fat, okay. I'll see food and I want it all. What's this? Pizza. Mrs. Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair request the honour of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helen, Margaret, and Mr. Richard Morris Paytermack. Sunday 4th of June, 1995 and a half past four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. 
some schedule work at Cranberger on Bethel Road, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Saturday, 12 to 6. That's good, pretty, uh, pretty good, uh, part-time job. I'll be paid one. This is just food. Okay, um, where to go next? Oh, what's this door? Oh, hell no. Oh, what is this? Um, um, so I just want your permission to reprint his book. You just said that. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary, June 3rd to 7th. We'll be camping in the gorge, but we'll give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still. Mid renovation. Never trust a contractor. Forty dollars is on table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good. Oh, she gone. <laughs> I don't ask you about the claim combos, thanks. <laughs> So her uniform's in the garage. For some reason. What's in the microwave? Nothing. Oh uh, yeah, we went in there. Been that way. I'm getting lost in this house. Barcelona. I have had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. <coughs> Can't speak. Dan Sam, I think you would like the gaudy architecture. It is from a strange alien world. I'm headed to my final destination in Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I'm money low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. I can't wait to see you all again. It'll be good to be home. Uh. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. And she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Toilet paper. It's just a load of toilet paper. Oh, it's the toilet still Jesus.
Ooh. So, wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known it was where I'd end up. I'd never thought of it any other way. I wish things could have been different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at, ba at a base and you're done with college and you're a famous writer and I can rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed, things will be different. And we can be together. Until then. It's sad, man. <clears throat> Ooh, garden. <laughs> Nothing in the clamp parts. Excuse me. Midnight, June fifth, final preparations are complete. Under the stairs is a secret door. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up. And I was finally alone. The hell is this mug? Jazz. <laughs> it's jazz. In this some manuscript the accidental human couple's counselor is up <clears throat> so they went for counselor That's um pretty good to be honest. Yes, the trying to do something. All right, we need to go to <coughs> under the stairs. And I'm probably going the complete wrong way, but you know. Guardian angels up above, bless his house with lots of love. Well then. Could you stop with the creepy music, please? Carry on with the creepy music. <laughs> Possession and exorcism. Beautiful. Got his name tag, some red candles. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, no, that can't go back into the middle. Got the acid key. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. 
When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Thank you. <laughs> Got some cereal in the Beazoid ginger ale. Absolutely beautiful to be honest. Okay, let's uh, close that off. And guess the attic. There it is. Okay. Stay strong, kick ass. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll go what we had. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic, in Lonnie and my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive, until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said yes. Yes. It's so cute. I think there's um which else? The photo paper to that one. I don't think these files are developing now. Fire paper, fire paper. This is so freaking cute. Just the game. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know. I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Oh, God. Okay. Very sorry, that was um copyrighted. <laughs> but yeah, 
that was gone home. Um, I absolutely love that game. Like, I think I've played it about four or five times. And I got it like two years ago. <laughs> but I always love it. I just love the story and the atmosphere. Like, it's so creepy, yeah. Just nothing's happening. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I just like story kind of games, so I'll record one. If I've been a bit quiet, it's because my uh, mom is in bed. She's been working night shifts, so I'm trying to be quiet for her. But, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this little series. Um, I'll try and find another game like this that we can play. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like. It helps me know what you guys want to see. Um, comment down below what you thought of the game. You liked it? Didn't like it? Anything really? Even if you just want to say hi. <laughs> um, subscribe so you can keep up to date with what I upload and ring the bell because that's always handy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> See you guys in the next... Whatever. <laughs> Bye.